Hello, sunshines. Happy Saturday, the 17th of June, 2023. I am your host, Heather, known as Bunnyfish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. And today's video is not going to be a vlog, but it's pretty exciting anyway. So I have vloggy things from the past several weeks, and I will get them up sometime this week because guess what? Guess who's on summer vacation? I have three weeks, three and a half weeks, counting the two weekends, um, or the weekend, three and a half-ish weeks, three solid weeks and a weekend, I don't know how you want to say that, until I have to teach summer school. So, I'm going to be able to edit things. I'm going to have, like, mental capacity and time to do that. Um, but I thought today I could show you what I plan to carry around for the next three weeks while my kids and I are going to parks and the beach and generally having fun and doing summer things. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I feel like the past several years have not like had this summer vibe because, you know, pandemic and stuff. And, uh, and this year we're definitely feeling like the summer vibe. I'm going to take off my cuff. Okay. So in my bag, first thing, most important thing is my hoodie. It's Michigan. So even though it's supposed to be in the 80s all week, by the water it's cooler, in the evenings it's cooler, it can go from 80 to 50 real quick when that sun sets, so always a hoodie. But I have put not all of my whips, um, but most of my whips in this bag to carry around. So I have them with me because I'm not gonna be hanging out at home um, I mean, I will, but not as much. So they're they're here. Let me show you what I have. So first up, this is um, this is called the Sockwave sock, and you can see it's color work. My colors are um, tonal, so it's not like super ba bam in your face color work. But I actually really like it. It's very reminiscent to me of um, clouds or like, not clouds, sun through leaves in the summertime, which is what I was going for. So this is a test knit that's actually due tomorrow. So I'm gonna be working really, really hard to get down the foot, but that shouldn't be too difficult. I'm more than halfway through the heel flap. So if I focus on this, I can definitely finish it by the test knit deadline. I only have to have the first sock. And uh, here's the other yarn. So you can see it's like tonal and it's got, um, what are those called, nets in the, to make it tweety and the nuts are colorful and fun um yeah so that's super fun i'm i love the the pattern it's a 10 round repeat so it's not super complicated but i do have to look at it especially going into the gusset because the gusset is patterned um that's by elendria knits also by elendria knits do you remember this sock right here the heart explosion sock that i test knit do you remember that I didn't finish the second sock? I'm still in the gusset on that one. So I'm carrying this around in hopes that here and there I will put a couple rounds in and <laughs> make progress on this sock. It's really, really lovely. It's just, it's, I mean, you, it's all over color work. It uses the technique letter back to card. It's complicated. I have to look at it. And during the school year, I just did not have that brain power. Plus, um, the contrast is really, really high in good light, but in my bedroom evening time light, it, the, the contrast is not high enough. So it was a struggle to work on. I also have that problem with this sock. Like once evening time comes, like once about seven o'clock hits and the, the sun is on the other side of the houses. Like there's still plenty of ambient light, but it's not enough to like really tell the difference since there's not high contrast between these two colors. So that's a daytime project. <laughs> I also started, I think I showed you this, um, a pair of over the knee socks. So this is the first one. I did the cuff with the fold over top and um, and then I did ribbing so the inside is just stockinette and then the outside is ribbing and I'm going into this green and I'm going to be striping so I did 
15 rounds of the gray, 10 rounds of the green. I'm going to do five gray, 10 green. See how long that makes it and decide if I want to do another green stripe or if I just want to. I don't know, but that's the first one. And here is the second one. I'm going to do them in tandem because I've been really terrible about writing down notes and stuff. So I want to make them at the same time ish so that they're the same. But here's the second one provisional cast on stockinette in the round. I'm actually ready right now to do the turning round and then start the, um, the ribbing. So yay that. And I'm just making that up as I go. I have, oh, hmm, pause. I have another test knit sock again for Alundria Knits because I just love her stuff. Um, this is for a pair of shorties though. Also, the deadline is tomorrow, but we only have to have the first sock done for that, and I have done that, so I've met the, met the need for this test knit. It's, um, it's a stripey pattern, like a two-color stripey pattern, and there is some fun ribbing. I just need to Kitchener this one closed. That's all I need on the sock. I haven't done it. haven't felt like it. Maybe I'll do that today while we're... While I'm working. Leave it on the counter with a needle. <laughs> I can do that while I'm talking to customers. Um, and then here's the second one. I had to pause because I had to go get it out of my purse because it's definitely carry aroundable. It's definitely walkable knitting. So I have, I have three and a half repeats of the pattern on the foot. I need to do five. So pretty close to this. I might finish this by tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what today brings me. I don't know what I'm doing after work. I might go home. I might go to a park or a beach. I don't know. Kind of uh, going to check in with my kiddos and see what they want to do. So yeah, that's the second sock and I'm using little scrappy bits, leftovers for that. And like I said, it lives in my purse. So I don't know. I'll have to figure out a new purse project when that one is finished. I also have pens and my planner which I am kind of using as like a journal sort of thing but also a planner it's working out really really well for me I used to journal a lot and then I fell out of the habit because it was just like it felt like too much of a commitment to set up my journal every week and this is already set up so it's fine I'm making it work and I like it pretty well um have my blanket in here. I don't have minis in here to add to the blanket, but I figure that's something that I can just grab a couple minis that fit the book that I am working on. Here's what it looks like all stretched out. I need two more squares to make it the width that I want, so going pretty well. And um, I finished a book this week, so I will be adding two more squares onto it. So yeah, I have my, my reading log blanket in my bag. That's quick and easy. Obviously I don't expect to finish all of these things in the next, next three weeks, but I do anticipate like this bag getting way less full in the next three weeks. I also have two books because you never know what you're gonna be in the mood for. So I have The Book of Longing by Sue Monk kid, which I started a while ago and then set aside for several months. Now I've picked it back up. And then Shatter Me, which I started a couple days ago um, based on a book talk. No, not a book talk. A TikTok filter that said, what is your um, book boyfriend? And it said so a character from this book. I don't even remember what character, but I was like, okay, sure. I haven't read that book. I could use another book boyfriend. So I'm reading it. Um, I kind of like it so far. I don't love it so far. I'm only on page like 65 though, out of 330 something. So, you know, if I like it a lot, I will read the other books in the series. And if I don't, then it'll be just the one that I'm reading. You remember this? You remember this glove? The first one? Here's the second one. I have part 
of the first finger. <laughs> These fingers do not take this long. They don't take very long. I just have to do it, and I didn't want to do it. I was chasing the dopamine for the past three weeks. So I don't think I picked that up. I did make two hats um, that I gave to students at school because we had contracts. And then I started a headband for a kiddo. Um, I'm going to finish it and I will give it to her next year. She wasn't there the last two days of school. So as soon as I saw she wasn't there, I kind of like lost my mojo for working on it. So I will finish it though. I'll put it in my office. I'll give it to her next year. Um, I started another hat just because it was, I had the needles and the yarn on my desk one day and I had to like sit through a meeting. So I started that. And this is the other yarn that I'm going to use to finish it. I have my, um, my cowl, my using up scrappy singles cowl. And -da -da. it looks like this so far. So like good sized cowl, but I just want to be able to wrap it twice. So I'm working on that. Um, I don't anticipate finishing this. This is not one of the finishes that I'm hoping for. But it is really super easy and mindless, and I can work on it in movie theaters. So if we decide to go to the movies, I can pull this out and work on it and not have to worry about counting or changing yarns or anything. I mean, even though the yarn, I do change the yarn every round, I don't have to think about it. So there's that one. And there's a phone charger and a can of Dr. Pepper because those are necessities for living. And then the last project that is in there is my Exploration Station by Stephen West. And let's spread it out so you can see it. So there's a chair behind me. Okay, so you can kind of see what's going on here. It's a very big shawl. Um, I am on the last section. How many rows do I have left? Let's see. How many? I have seven rows left. They are quite long. More than 450 row or stitches per row. So they take a while, but I'm on the last section. This I do anticipate finishing in the next three weeks. I need to get my test knits in a row. I am actually starting another test knit though as soon as I finish that first color work sock. I'm starting another test knit for Alundria knits. <sighs> but it's another pair of shorties so it'll be quick. Oh see I was thinking I was gonna have to find another purse project. That should work fine for my purse. I mean it's a little tricky because there's one part where you have to do like a special technique but I feel like It'll still be easy enough to do well out and about. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I can at least get it started and have it in my purse for the starting parts, like the cuff. And when I get to the heels again, I can go back in my purse. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, that's um, that's my my plan for the next three weeks. Obviously, I well not obviously you don't know, but I intend to finish at least one of those books in the next three weeks, probably both of them, and like keep switching out the books in my bag because I am a pretty voracious reader during summer. I like to knit and read. Um, let's see, which of these projects can I not knit and read at the same time? Just the two color work projects. Everything else, right? Yeah, everything else is knittable while reading. Um, mm-hmm. So it's just those color work projects where I can't knit and read at the same time, but that's what audiobooks are for. Y'all, <laughs> my summer, my summer to-do list is, um, it's intense. I have 20 books to read. I've actually read two of them since I wrote the list because they were audiobooks, but, um, Shatter Me is not on that TBR. Actually, neither of these books are on the TBR. Oops. But... Seven of the books are audiobooks, and I've already listened to two of the audiobooks, so that's not so bad. Um, also, I have 
a sweater that I want to edit that isn't in the bag right now. And I have some t-shirts that I want to cut up and turn into crop tops or tank tops or something summery, something fun. Um, I think those are my like planned projects. Oh no, I also have, I've had this idea in my head for like 20 years, approximately, that I want a denim rug made from old jeans. So I have a huge stockpile of denim, of old jeans that are like not donatable, not wearable. Um, so I'm going to start cutting out six, in six inch squares and maybe start sewing them together. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. So those are my plans. And this is my bag for the next three weeks. <laughs> so I'm going to edit this, get this up. Um, make sure to come back in a few days for the first day of summer. The Summer Yarny YouTube Hop will be happening. I'm excited. My project is finished. I have to edit that video. I probably already edited it before I edited this one since that one has an actual deadline. Um, so that will be coming up in just a few days or maybe today. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take me to edit this. Hopefully not that long. And then um, sometime after this video, there will be a vloggy video of the last month or so of school. It's going to be very all over the place, very chaotic. It was very like huh, huh, a very huh, time. That's that's what my last month was. But now it's going to be reading and knitting and hanging out with my kids and like eating good food and hanging out with friends. I'm so excited to hang out with friends. Oh, my best friend is dog sitting and she lives like an hour away, but she's dog sitting like a half hour away and she's going to be there for like a while many days. So we're going to get together. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know why a half hour drive seems so much more manageable than an hour drive. It just does. So we're excited. It's going to be great. I'm going to have a great summer. I hope that you are going to have an amazing summer. And I'm going to actually have some content over the next two and a half months. You should be excited. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> All right, friends. I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.